Okay, in this lecture, we're going to learn how to update our operating system and all the packages we have on our system. So I'm going to go ahead and log into the dashboard. And we're brought to the main screen, and we can see that 50 packages can be updated, and four of these updates are security updates. So we need to go ahead and get this done. So we need to run a command, the apt-get command, but we need to run this as sudo, so I have the appropriate permissions, and type in apt-get, and then we're going to type in update. It's asking me for my sudo password, enter that information, press enter. Okay, so now what it's doing is it's updating our local list with the list that's out there on the internet of all our packages that can be updated. So we have a, a kind of like a database on our server that says, okay, you know, we have application X, Y, and D, and they're on version six. And then on the internet, it'll say, okay, application uh, A, B, and C are on version seven, for example. So now our server knows exactly what versions our software should be. So we need to run sudo apt-get and upgrade. Okay. All right. So now it is running all the upgrades. So we're going to say yes on this when it's prompted. We want to continue and we'll let this process for a second. Okay. So now our packages are updated and we're good to go from that perspective. But what if we want to install something in particular? Well, the way that you do that is you type in sudo apt-get and install followed by whatever you want to install. So let's just use an example and install something called Rhythmbox. Okay, so press enter. And it's grabbing all these dependencies and different files. And it says, do you want to continue at 64 megabytes? And it says, uh, after this operation, there's going to be 360 megabytes of the server that will be used at the storage. So we'll click, yeah, or we'll enter yes, and we'll press enter. So we're going to let this install. Okay, so this update or this download and setup has finished. So now what we need to do is see if it's actually installed so we can just kind of look at it in our package list. To do this, type in dpkg-l and that's gonna list all of our packages. Now that just outputted a ton of packages. So if we kind of scroll up, uh, we can look, this is a lot of information. So there's gotta be a way that we can kind of sort this information. Well, there, there is. So if we press the up arrow, press space, and hold shift and press the vertical bar, or we commonly refer to it in the Linux world as pipe. And it's right above enter and below backspace on my key. It's the alternate key of backslash. So hold left shift and press the backslash, and it gives you this pipe command. And what this does is it takes the output of the first command and uses it as input for the second command. So we're going to use a command called grep, G-R-E-P. And grep is like a filter. So we're going to take all these lists, this whole list of all these packages, and we're going to put it into a grep. And we're going to, after grep, we're going to use the argument rhythm. Okay. And that's going to filter the output of dpkg-l, which lists all our packages, it's going to filter it for rhythm. Okay, so don't press enter. Okay, so this just lists anything that has the word rhythm. And we can see here are all the different box or different uh, packages that we have installed. Now, you might be a little bit confused because we only installed one package, but now we have like, what is that, seven or, or seven or eight or so packages installed on the system. And the reason for that is because when you install uh, software on Ubuntu, they're what's called dependencies. And it's just other software that is required by the primary software. So to uninstall these dependencies, uh, we'll need to do those manually. That's why when you wanna search for something, you wanna search for Rhythmbox, uh, so you can kinda you know, get all the applications and all the dependencies that were installed. You don't wanna just find Rhythmbox because there's gonna be a couple different, there's Rhythmbox-Core8, Rhythmbox-Data, Mozilla, et cetera. So, now you know how to install a particular package, let's learn how to uninstall it. And the way to do that is just type in sudo app-get, and instead of install, we want to type in purge. Okay, and let's type in rhythm box. All right, and we'll press enter. That's, oh, I spelled it wrong. Okay, so helps if you spell it right. Rhythm, make sure, okay, rhythm box. There we go, okay. So do you want to continue? Yes. All right, now we'll wait for this to finish. Okay, so it looks like it's done. So now let's go ahead and do that package list again with the grep for rhythm and see what's left. Now we have a couple dependencies left. So sudo apt-get purge 
and let's type in lib rhythm and we can just tap press tab and it'll auto complete it for us so I'm gonna go ahead and press enter and yes we want to remove this okay so run that search command again and we could also list these in a fashion of just typing rhythm box uh, or apt sudo apt get purge and we can just list all the software uh, at once and then it would uninstall them all uh, one right after the other so you don't have to go through and do them all one by one okay so I'm just gonna type in rhythm box and press let's see did I spell something wrong I don't know why rhythm is so hard for me to spell today okay rhythm box data purge say yes okay so now I'm gonna type in a clear command and let's type in the uh, dpkg-l grep rhythm and nothing comes back so we've removed the software and all of its dependencies so that is how you manage packages on ubuntu server i hope that helps and i'll see you in the next lecture